SMA is a genetic disease that affects nerve cells in the spinal cord that control muscles and cells throughout the body. SMA can affect any race or gender. In the U.S., about 10,000 to 25,000 people have SMA, and roughly 1 in 10,000 infants are affected globally. While SMA doesn't affect mental abilities, it can impact one's ability to perform basic physical functions, such as walking, breathing, and swallowing. To understand SMA, you must recognize the relationship between the brain, nerves, and muscles. The brain communicates with the body using motor neurons, which transmit movement signals to muscles. The survival of motor neuron, or SMN protein, keeps motor neurons healthy. Without enough functional SMN, motor neurons begin to die. Once motor neurons are unable to send signals, the muscles weaken or atrophy. People with SMA have a genetic mutation in SMN1, or the survival motor neuron 1 gene, which leads to a deficiency of the SMN protein. Typically, people with SMA also have at least one intact copy of a second virtually duplicate gene to SMN1. This backup, called survival motor neuron 2 gene, or SMN2, also makes SMN protein, but with much less efficiency. SMA affects people differently. There are four primary types of SMA, based on the age symptoms begin and the highest physical milestones reached. Disease severity is also related to the number of SMN2 gene copies a person has. People with SMA, who have more SMN2 gene copies, are likely to produce more functional SMN protein. With more functional SMN protein available, SMA symptoms are typically less severe. Better understanding of this disease can lead to new hope for patients, caregivers, and loved ones.